It's Wrestling Observer Radio with Garrett and Dave here. And our special guest, IWGP World Heavyweight Champion and new inductee into the Wrestling Observer Hall of Fame, Kazuchika Okada. How are you? あ、ちょっと、ちょっと、音が止まっちゃった。おお。大丈夫ですか今大丈夫、はい、今大丈夫、すいません。はい、はい。岡田和之です。Hello, this is Kazuchika Okada. Hi. How are you? <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? So, um I guess Chris, I guess the first thing um we should probably talk about is um you know it it's been a very interesting uh last couple of years with covid and uh trying to you know i mean what is the difference in okada's mind of doing a match with covid um with the difference in with fans and everything like that and without it and is it uh has he kind of learned to cope with it or is it is is there any frustration left in trying to do this まあ、最初はやりづらいと思いますが、なんか今の現時点だと慣れてますか。ただまだちょっとやりにくいなのか、なんか今とこの2年振り返ってみて、なんかどう思いますか。やっぱりもう慣れましたね。はい。慣れた
一些什么，某 IWGP 世界チャンピオンだし、まあヘビー級チャンピオンはあんなにやりましたんですけど、なんかこれから先だったら、まあ世界中で戦ったりとか、なんかまあまだやり残ってることはありますか？まあでもやっぱり。たくさんあるんじゃないかなと。まあ、本当に僕は知らないだけで、まだまだやることっていうのはプロレス界にとってはたくさんあると思いますし、いろんな人と戦うっていうこともそうかもしれないですし、いろんな場所で戦うっていうのもそうかもしれないですし、新日本プロレスをもっと広めるっていうのももちろんそうですし、まあ本当、個人としてはや,やったことはいろいろあるかもしれないですけれども、まだまだその、築き上げていかないと、ビルドアップしていかないといけないこともたくさんあると思うので、そこはやっぱり、まだまだたくさん、これからまた見つかってくるんじゃないかなと思いますね。So obviously there's a lot that he has done, but there's a lot that you don't know about that will come on further down the road when it comes to places that he'll be able to wrestle, when it comes to new opponents that we perhaps we haven't even seen yet that he wants to, to face and, and wrestle,、um, and when it comes to more opportunities to broadening what New Japan Pro Wrestling can do,、uh, there's still an awful lot. More that he will discover as time goes on, and, and that's where you know, he'll take himself. There was a、uh, Sports Illustrated quote that came out and really caught the,、uh, the, the US wrestling world.、Uh, and, and in that quote, I believe、uh, Okada was、uh, quoted as saying Daniel Bryan and CM Punk were possible dream opponents. Now, obviously, we just talked about being in a pandemic. Travel is, is much harder. Are, are those goals、um, for those matches like really sort of future goals? Or are they a little bit more immediate? Like, if it was up to Okada, like, how soon would those goals be able to be achieved? Oh, my second and a sports illustrated and interview on Akade and my Daniel Bryant or CM Punk. たい岡田はまあ順位待ちだろうとあの、はい、おっしゃったんですけれど、まあそれはまあ今コロナでの中でまあまあアメリカにいたり帰ったりは難しいと思うんですが、まあそれはまあ近い将来のあの順位待ちあるいはまあまだまだの目的だろうか、まあいつぐらいかなと。う<笑>ん<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>まあ本当にわからないですよね。何も、もし戦わなければそのままドリームマッチで終わってしまうかもしれないですし、うんまあ、本当に、まあそうやって、あこういう時だからこそいろいろみんなに若く夢をこう持って考えてもらいたいというか、いろんな想像を膨らましてもらいたいですし、だからどんどんどんどん、まあその CM パンク、ダニエル、えー、ブライアン・ダニエルズでしたっけもうそうですし、わかるんです。トレプレイチかもしれないですし。<笑>中村俊介かもしれないし、なんかいろんなこうドリームマッチをみんな考えてもらって、それをこうコビット、アフターコビットに向けて、なんかこう頑張ってもらえたらなってありますね。So, I mean, really, we, we can't possibly say at the moment, and everything's so up in the air.、Um, and sometimes putting these situations out, they might just end as dream matches, and you know, everybody's got a, a limited、uh, number of days left.、Um, but It's because we're in the situation that we're in that these dream matches kind of become more important, I think, to all of us as fans to give something to imagine and speculate and look forward to.、Uh, so, yeah, who knows? It, it might be、uh, Brian Danielson, it might be CM Punk, it might be Triple H, or it might be Shinsuke Nakamura, you know, it might be kind of、uh, all of these different situations.、Um, you know, now we're in the situation we're in、uh, as a planet and as a society, it's, it's more important than ever to kind of、uh, have these, these crazy. Sort of speculations and, and wild dreams of things we can do. So, now coming off the, the Tokyo Dome show, obviously, you had two amazing matches with、uh, Shingo Takagi and Will Ospreay, and then the tag team match a couple days later in Yokohama. And kind of like, what did you like, I guess, or maybe even dislike about you know, the, three mat the three big Wrestle Kingdom matches and just your thoughts on you know, how is it,、uh, you know, how different is it to? Work with two completely different s t y l e of opponents, or actually three different styles of opponents. And also,、um, you know, what from a physical standpoint and a mental standpoint, going into matches, you know, with I guess so much pressure on having a great match and having to pull off a great match. I mean, is that hard physically and mentally to, to do, you know, like what you did, like the two matches in, 40, in 24 hours, essentially? 
。そうですね。まあ、東京のだと、まあ、最近、ツーデイズになったり、で、はい、今回、両方ともメインイベント。で、慎吾、高木と、まあ、高木慎吾と、ウィロスプレイは、はい、まあ、様々なスタイルは、かなり違うだし、で、そこから横浜アリーナも完全にまた違う試合を見せて、見せましたんですけど、まあ、全部、各イベントは、なんかプレッシャーは高いと思いますので、まあ、もう素晴らしい試合を見せなきゃいけないんで、はい、まあ、体的で、あと、まあ、あの、精神的な、あの、プレッシャー、まあ、今、10年経ってますけど、なんかまだプレッシャー感じますかそれともやりにくいか、やりやすいかもうプレッシャーも感じないですね。はい。もう東京ドームでも何回もやってますし、本当に楽しみですよね。やっぱあそこのリングに立ちたくて、あそこの東京ドームのメインイベントに立ちたくて、プロレスラーやっを今やってるわけなので、そこで立てるのにそのプレッシャーに負けることもやっぱないですし、本当にいろんな戦いをやりましたけれども、まあプレッシャーもなくです。やっぱ体はきついですし、もうやっぱメンタルもだいぶきついですけれども、まあそれがやっぱその新日本プレスのトップの、えー、やらなきゃいけないこと、使命だと思いますんで、まあそれはそれで、そうですね。まあ高木さんともやりましたし、オスプレイともやって、まあタッグマッチではね、武藤さんっていうレジェンドも触れることできましたし、まあ清宮選手っていうの、まああの、ノアの戦いっていうのも感じることはできたので、本当に自分にとっても全く違う試合がこう3つ続いて、なんかすごいレスラーとしてもなんか成長できたなってのはありますね。So at this point, there really isn't any sort of bowing down to the pressure. Obviously, it's a difficult、uh, environment physically and mentally.、Um, but as a pro wrestler, you know, he came into this business wanting to be in that spot and be in the main event and wrestle in the Tokyo Dome. And so that's the, that's the position that, that was a dream situation. And now he's in that situation. So it's his、uh, mission and responsibility、uh, to live up to the, the fan expectations. And he was able to have、uh, two back to back great matches、uh, in the main event in the Tokyo Dome and then、um, get to wrestle legend in, in Keiji Muto and Battle Noah as well.、Um, so it was a great、uh, opportunity to grow. As a wrestler, as well. So, all in all, it's a, it was a positive experience. When it comes to like his career, does he look back? Like, are there any matches that he looks back on as like, okay, this was like the, the best match or best matches of my career, whether it's Tanahashi or Omega or, you know, Kota Bush or whoever?、Um, you know, as far as like the, his best opponents, who would he think? And what, what is like the, the differences, I guess, in. I, you know, Omega, Ibushi, Tanahashi, just throw those names out. Like, what's different about wrestling those three people for him? あのまあ、今までのクレアを振り返ってみて、まあ、まあ、まずは、なんか振り返りますかなんかそういう、あ,あの試合は、なんかベストバウトだったかなあの対戦相手は素晴らしかったかな<笑>で、まあ、あの、多分ファンのみんなは、あの、イブシ、あの、タナハシ、ケニオメガだって、まあ、そういう名前を出すんですけど、はい、まあ、岡田選手にとって、それ、振り返りますかそれとも、前に向けて、あの、戦いますかうん、まあ、振り返ることもできるんですけれども、もう、すごいたくさんいろんな試合をしてきたので、言われないと思い出せないって試合が結構多いんですよね。はい。なんで、うん、まあ、でもやっぱ、いろんな相手と戦えたから、今の僕があるのかなって、それはもう間違いなくそうだなと思いますね。So it's, it, it's, it's been so much and so many matches, so many opponents over the last、uh, 10 years and still more to come that it's difficult to really sort of look back that, that you can, but it's more the, you know, he needs some prodding to, to remember, oh yeah, there was that match and that opponent and that time.、Um, so yeah, it's, it's something that he can do, but it, it's more that he's sort of focused on what he's doing、uh, right at the current moment in time. So obviously, Being the New Japan、uh, champion is, is very taxing. It's, it's very hard. It's very physical, physically demanding. But since the pandemic, has, has it been even harder because of the sort of the emotional, the mental aspect of how business has changed, how all of our lives has changed? Has that added to, to the pressure or the demand? 
あのまあそう今世界ヘビキュー王者になってもうコロナの中にまあ初あの体感じゃではないですかで、はい、まああのコロナ前とコロナ後のあのまあチャンピオンになって感覚は違いますかそれ今はあのまあコロナだからこそプレッシャーが多く感じるかもしれないんですけど、あの岡田選手にとっていかがでしょうかやっぱり今のチャンピオンってすごい大事だと思うんですよね。あのやっぱりこうやってコロナ禍になって、やっぱこう、客足も減ってますし、お客さんもやっぱ見てる人ってやっぱだいぶ減ってきてるとは言えると思うので、その中でやっぱり僕の戦いでお客さんを戻したいですし、まあ、それも海外もそうだと思うんですよね。今外国人選手も来てないので。やっぱり僕が持ってやっぱ素晴らしい戦いをしていけば、もう本当に日本のお客さんであったり、えー、海外のファンの皆さんにも届くと思うので、そこに向けてやっぱり僕が持ったということで、どんどん知ってもらってですね、なのですごい今のチャンピオンって重要だと、やっぱこういうコロナ禍で声出せない時のチャンピオンってすごい重要だと思うので、そこはしっかり、もう全くやっぱ違うもんだと思ってますからね、前は本当にもう戦って勝てば、えー、お客さんも歓声をくれたり、ブーイングしてくれたりという中で、今もできないので、その中でもしっかりとこう伝わるプロレスというのをしていきたいなと思いますね。So it becomes more important than ever before to be a, a strong figure as a, as a champion.、Um, and now we're in an environment, obviously, there's socially distanced crowds in Japan and they're not able to cheer or, or boo. And there might be a lot of fans,、uh, quite frankly, domestically and overseas that might have moved away from the product and into something else.、Uh, so it's more important than ever now for Okada to be a great champion and to have these, these great matches、um, and to make sure the world knows、uh, who he is and, and who New Japan is.、Um, so certainly the responsibility is, is greater now than, than it ever has been. Obviously, the next big match is Naito. And,、um, you know, how does he view? He's wrestled Naito many times.、Um, you know, how does, what, what does he think as far as like, well, this, what, what would be perhaps different from previous matches? Or what does he think of Naito as far as his challenger and Naito's value to the company? So, this is a good question. I think it's a good question. I think it's a good question. I think it's a good q u e s t 何が違うと思いますかそれとも、まあ、今の内藤哲也と、まあ、10年前であの40周年の,あの、はい、記念試合でやった内藤哲也は、なんかどう,どう違いますかまあ、どっちも年を取ってきましたね。はい。<笑> Getting old. <笑><笑>えー、なんでまあ。やっぱりこう、前はやっぱ若い戦いをしてきたと思うんですけれども、やっぱり10年経ってお互いこう、やっぱ成長してきた部分、進化してきた部分もあるので、もちろん退化してきた部分もあると思いますし、もうやっぱり同じ相手ですけれども、やっぱりこう、10年前の今の僕、それこそ最後にやったのは2年前の東京ドームですから、そこでまた違った2人が見られると思うので、やっぱこう、10年前に、うお、あの、ちょうど、働き記念日でやったときにあ、若い世代の戦い来たんだなというような、お互い20代で、でなんでまたその10年経ってですね、その何が変わったかっていう、どっちがこう、本当に立ち位置もいろいろ変わってきたと思いますしど、どっちがどういうふうに成長してきたかっていうのも見せられるんじゃないかなと思いますね。プロレスだけじゃなくてですね、この10年間の過程っていうのは見せられるんじゃないかなと思いますね。So, yeah, so the easy answer is that both of them have gotten older over the last few <laughs> years, but、um, you know, they wrestled one another 10 years ago、um, in c o r c o r a n Hall for the 40th anniversary. And now we're, we're coming close to the 50th anniversary. And back then, both of them were in their 20s. And now you're going to see, I think, the, the culmination over the last 10 years, not just as professional wrestlers. Um, but in terms of characters, personality, psychology,、um, you're going to see all of that come together.、Um, and the, the fans are going to see a match that、uh, now is kind of the, the culmination of, of what started a, a decade ago. When it, when it comes to obviously, most of his matches have been in Japan in the last 10 years, although, you know, obviously had that run in the United States. But 
like now, what is what are his fondest memories of of wrestling in the United States, whether it's Madison Square Garden or Dallas or you know when, Los Angeles or I mean, are there any like things where he goes like when I talk about like coming to the United States, what's the first things that like pop into his mind? So say I'm out. あの、ま、最近ちょっとアメリカ行きにくくなっていますけど、結構あの、ま、あの、マディソンスクエアガーデンとか、ダラスとか、ま、サンフランシスコとか、なんかま、アメリカでも素晴らしい試合ありましたが
of that year of that big rise when you first got the chance to uh, wrestle for the IWGP title and defend the IWGP title numerous times and and be in that you know rise to that mix with the really top guys right away. So it's a much older in my destiny and my Osaka Taikai Tanahashi or Taos de and IWGP and Hatsai Kande. Then so Kara Sono my Kagetsugo Naito Tetsia de Korakuen no Shaiga de and all more Wakai Sedai Nanoni, Mamono Sugoi, high pressure no my situation are erratic de and all ma. あの、あの、あの、<笑> あの、緊張してないのっていうような感じの中でも Right, so like even now people kind of ask him, don't you ever get nervous? And it's because uh, he was in the position that he was in uh, that he doesn't get nervous in the, in the situation he's in now. Nobody will teach you experience um, in a wrestling school and nobody will teach you that in a classroom. It's something that you have to be in those those spots yourself and you have to be in that sink or swim situation. And as it happens, he was able to swim and it's because of that uh, that experience back then, 10 years ago, uh, that he's where he is at uh, today and that he can perform at the level he can perform at. So I wanted to end this show with kind of a fun question, maybe not exactly a wrestling question, but uh, Shohei Otani came over from Japan and he is now one of the more popular and one of the best baseball players in, in Major League Baseball. There's another player who is trying to uh, or who may come, uh, Seiya Suzuki. And I was just wondering if uh, if Okada thinks, uh, what, what he thinks of Suzuki, and if he thinks Suzuki can kind of make a, a similar impact in, uh, you know, becoming one of the best players coming from uh, playing uh, in the Nippon League. So,野球とてもあの、アメリカ野球ファンはみんな大谷翔平の名前、あの、わかりますか。まあ、で、ま、いろんな活躍してもらって朝ニュース見てですね、わあ、活躍してるねっていう風なぐらいやっぱ活躍してもらいたいですね。はい。ま、活躍できると思いますし、やっぱり本当あの、日本の野球選手たくさんメジ
アメリカのファンの皆さんに届けられるように頑張っていきたいと思います。So, so、um, yeah, obviously, he would want Suzuki to succeed being a, a representative of Japan and being、um, as a contemporary of、uh, Otani's、um, to kind of perform at the same level that Otani has done would be、uh, something special.、Um, and it's always something that Okada would, would see news of what Otani is doing over in the States. And that's something that, you know, when seeing him succeed、uh, was inspiration to him. Over the last、uh, few years. And so you hope Suzuki can do the same to so many people. And it's、uh, almost like、um, Okada and, and everybody in New Japan pro wrestling, you know, if, if what we can do and the level that we can perform at,、um, if fans in the US or in the UK or wherever to,、um, look and, and see what we can do and get inspired by us,、um, then that's,、uh, you know, that's the best all the way around. And that's the power of what、uh, sport is and what professional wrestling is. Awesome. Dave, do、uh, you have anything else before we let? No, that's pretty much the deal. Yeah. All right. So I want to say thank you to both of you for Kazuchiko Kata, for Chris Charlton, for Dave. I am Garrett. And to everybody, thanks for listening as well as watching.